Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Megan here, the Healing Foods Coach. And thank you so much for being a part of this video uh, by supporting me. Thank you for coming back and for all of your encouragement. So let's dive right into today's topic. Today's topic is all about the importance of getting saturated fats in our diet, but to also start slowly. What do I mean by that? Well, what I am meaning by that is most of us have spent our lifetime avoiding saturated fats and avoiding, avoiding fat in general. And so we are not used to having to digest and process fats from a dietary source. And therefore, our gallbladders are not working at optimum because we've not made them. So when we first get into this way of eating uh, and including good sources of saturated fats in our diet, one of the things that can often happen is that we end up with things like diarrhea and loose stools. And that doesn't last forever, but because we're not used to having to deal with fats, our bodies basically need to learn to adapt. So my advice to you when you come into this way of eating is to introduce, not to avoid saturated fats, obviously, but to try to do it a bit slowly. So you may start out with, say, if you're going to eat burger patties or ground beef, you might start out with meat that is 10% fat or 15% fat. Why? Because your body needs time to adjust to the fat increase. Now, that doesn't mean you're not going to still have some loose stools now and then, but if you suddenly jump to 25% fat beef right away, your, your body's not going to be able to uh, handle it very well. So you got to build up slowly. That is <clears throat> also why I tell people to be careful if they're going to start eating butter, which I, I do think is a great thing to do to get a little bit of quick saturated fat in our diet. Women especially, we we really, really, not that we don't all need saturated fats, we do, but women particularly need saturated fats for the cholesterol in order to make all the hormones our body needs, not just the sex-driven hormones like estrogen and progesterone um, to regulate our cycles or get one going again if we've not had one for a while, uh, as well as ease us through uh, the transition of menopause. We need those hormones. We need them. Okay, and we need and we need to make sure we get enough of them uh, for the body to do what it's supposed to at, at our different phases of life. We also need the saturated fats beyond just for the hormones. Um, it helps us bring bring down cortisol levels. And as I've said in so many of my other videos, when we have constantly elevated levels of cortisol because we're in a stress state, we've either been depriving ourselves of food. Uh, perhaps we overexercise, perhaps we have anxiety, perhaps we're dealing with stressful life situations, you know, a loss in the family, um, issues with children or aging parents, anything can bring on stress, okay? And that will elevate cortisol levels, putting ourselves into a constant state of stress <clears throat> by overstimulating with things like um, nicotine or alcohol, drugs, can also cause our cortisol levels to rise. And when that happens, we are unable to lose stored body fat. It is, it is the signal to the body, hang on to whatever's there. We're going to need it. We're going into an emergency situation. And most times that is not the case. And so any efforts we try to lose that body fat simply will not happen if our cortisol levels are consistently and continuously elevated. It's just not going to happen. OK, so that's why we need to bring down our cortisol levels so they're manageable and as low as possible. But we also need saturated fats, not just for the hormones, the sex drive hormones, the hormones like cortisol or insulin, the, the hormones that signal hunger and satiety. But we also need the hormone that comes from our thyroid. We need a functioning thyroid in order for um, good metabolism in order to have healthy nails and hair and teeth and skin and so many other things that rely on the general management of the thyroid, which of course 
that signaled by the cholesterol to make the hormones to make the thyroid run which then has a ripple on effect to other parts of the body so it's important that we get enough saturated fat now most people find that that only becomes an issue when they start eating things like just pure fat so whether it's ghee or butter or beef tallow or bacon grease just as is okay and so i i i caution you not that you can't have those things and they can be really tasty and they will give you uh they'll quickly bring down your cortisol levels in the morning they will help you feel satiated for quite a while before you feel the need to go and eat something which is always i mean that's never a bad thing you 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 actually have true hunger signals at that point that's all good however if you eat um beef tallow that is only just formed in the pan if you eat so if you eat the liquid fat as you're cooking the beef if you eat it when it's still liquid that is probably going to be too much too quick and that can easily cause some indigestion uh some gut upset and more specifically loose stools so when you are first starting to increase your saturated fat intake make sure that you are not eating hot the hot beef tallow or the bacon grease right after you've cooked let it cool off first you know so it becomes sort of semi-solid that's a lot easier for the, the body for the digestive system to handle than when it's hot off the pan um if you are going to eat butter as i say start really 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 slowly um it's delicious it's a great way to bring your cortisol down it's a great way to tell for sure if you're actually hungry or not if you can eat a bit of saturated fat and then go for a while without feeling like you need more food, then that means you're not truly hungry. Great. You can carry on with your morning. You don't need to eat yet. Perfect. But start really small, especially if, like me, you avoided fat as much as possible most of your life. You need to give your gallbladder time to actually start getting back into being used properly with this low carb, sorry, low fat, no fat way of eating most of us have followed, our gallbladders are just simply out of practice. And it would be kind of like taking somebody who was not mobile for quite a while. Oh, look, for me, for example, nine years. And then realizing, hey, I can move a bit more. I can walk around the house. I'm getting a little bit more mobility. And then someone turning around and saying to me, great, now you need to go run a marathon. Well, I'm not going to do that. My body would not cope because it has been out of running. Well, or even if you walk a marathon, my body couldn't cope because it's not been, it's been out of practice for far too long. And the same thing goes with upping our saturated fat intake. Uh, whether it's through things like butter, tallow, bacon grease, lard, um, ghee, all great sources, by the way, of saturated fat. Whether it's consuming those or cooking with them, whether it's gradually increasing the percentage of fat in your protein choices. So whether you're going from eating burger patties that are typically 5 to 10% beef to gradually upping that to 15, 20% fat or more, whether that is, you know, starting off with things like maybe two pieces of bacon in the morning and some eggs, maybe gradually increasing it to more bacon, um, cooking with a little bit more butter, maybe including bacon, sausages and eggs, you know, playing around with it. You got to get your body back into fighting shape, if you will. So, Eating fat is really, really important, but if you've avoided fat most of your life, please, please, please start slowly, okay? Because the last thing you want is to feel like you've eaten all this good saturated fat and all this protein, and then you spend much of your time on the toilet. Just, no. Start slower, build up, and get your body used to the fat and it honestly won't take super long it will take a little time but i think you'll find that over the next few weeks and months i wouldn't imagine longer than that you can suddenly start to handle 
more saturated fat, which is a great thing. Why? Because it's satiating. It means that as you up your fat intake, you're going to feel the need to eat less food. And the less you're consuming, right, the less there is the possibility of stuff being stored. So you don't need to eat as much, which allows your body to start burning whatever you have stored already to be burning up that fuel for energy and not relying as much on what you've been eating. So I hope that's helpful. Um, I hope that's been informative. If you have any questions, if you guys want to know more, obviously you can go to my website and book a session with me when we can work together one-to-one -to -one and do some coaching. Um, absolutely. I would love to help you guys. Sessions are open now and I do have some spaces available for the fall season. Um, otherwise, please continue to leave your comments and share with me what you're doing. Share with me any of your challenges. What have you tried? What's worked? What hasn't? What do you think you want to tweak or what do you want to improve upon? Let me know. Um, I really appreciate hearing from you guys. It means everything. So thank you already. And again, for your support and your comments and your feedback. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my channel. It means so much to me. I hope you guys have great days and I will see you guys in the next video. So bye for now and we'll talk soon. Bye.